do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so students in the last lecture we have studied a derivation which was related to degree of dissociation and van der hoff factor but now we are going to derive an equation which is related to degree of dissociation that is alpha with molar mass of the solute for an electrolyte so students to prove this equation we should know what is van der hoff factor and the relation between its degree of dissociation in which earlier we have studied that i is equals to 1 plus n bar minus 1 into alpha this alpha means degree of dissociation this is the thing that we have proved initially also but we should also know that when it comes to van der hoff factor van der hoff factor is m theoretically divided by the m observed in this case the m is nothing but the molecular weight of the solute or the substance that is dissolved in the solution so because the colligative property is inversely proportional to the molar mass of the solute therefore it is been reversed so the van der hoff factor which is used to be observed divided by the theoretical theoretical is now been converted into for this case for molar mass is been converted into the molar mass of theoretical divided by the molar mass of observed fine so by equating this two equation we will get the m theoretical divided by m observed is equals to 1 plus n bar minus 1 alpha so this would be converted into m theoretical divided by m observed minus 1 n bar minus 1 into alpha so by this equating we will get m theoretical minus m observed divided by m observed is equals to n bar minus 1 and ultimately by equating this all to make a relation between the degree of dissociation and molar mass of solute for an electrolyte we will get an equation this and we are proved we have proved that alpha is equals to m theoretical minus m observed divided by the m observed n bar minus 1 so this is how we have proved this equation so we have proved two equations based on degree of dissociation for an electrolyte the one was for the van der factor and the second is for the molar mass of solute so i hope you have liked this video and you have cleared your doubt how to derive an equation based on this and how to prove this equation so please subscribe this channel and don't forget to share this with your friends and yes do subscribe egidachannel.com thank you so much